So today we are uh, in Numbers chapter 33 and 34, and we're kind of continuing this review of Moses and all that has taken place. And today we review uh, the travels that they took after the plagues and leaving uh, Egypt going into the promised land and then we also kind of look at the boundaries that have been made for them to be able to live in the land of canaan in the in the promised land uh, so as i read i want to show you uh, a map that you can follow um, while we are doing this and so hopefully you can see that here are the stages in the journey of the Israelites when they came out of Egypt by divisions under the leadership of Moses and Aaron. At the Lord's command, Moses recorded the stages in their journey. This is their journey by stages. The Israelites set out from Ramses on the 15th day of the first month, the day after the Passover. They marched out defiantly in full view of the Egyptians. Who were buying all who were burying all of their firstborn whom the lord had struck down among them for the lord had brought judgment on their gods the israelites left ramses and camped at sakaf they left sakaf and camped at etham on the edge of the desert they left etham turned back to pi hiroth to the east of baal zephon and camped near migdal they they left pi hiroth and passed through the sea into the desert. And when they had traveled for three days in the desert of Etham, they camped at Marah. They left Marah and went to Elam, where there were 12 springs and 70 palm trees, and they camped there. They left Elam and camped by the Red Sea, and they left the Red Sea and camped in the desert of Sin. Uh, they left the desert of Sin and camped at Dafka. They left Dafka and camped at Alush. They left Alush, camped at Rephidim, where there was no water for the people to drink. And then they left Rephidim and camped in the desert of Sinai. They left the desert of Sinai and camped at the Hebroth. Camped at Kibroth Hatava. They left Kibroth Hatava and camped at Hezroth, and they left Hezroth and camped at Rithma. They left Rithma and camped at Ramon Perez, and left Ramon Perez and camped at Libna, and they left Libna and camped at Rizha, and they left Rizha and camped at Kelatha. They left Kelatha and camped at Mount Shafir. They left Mount Shafir and camped at Harada. They left Harada and camped at Mechaloth. They left Michaloth and camped at Tehath. They left Tehath and camped at Terra. And they left Terra and camped at Mithka. And they left Mithka and camped at Hashmona. They left Hashmona, camped at Moseroth. They left Moseroth and camped at Bene Jacan. And they left Bene Jacan and camped at Hor Hagadad. And they left Hor Hagadad and camped at. Uh, Jatbatha, and they left Jatbatha, and camped at Abrana. They left Abrana and camped at Ezion Geber, and they left Ezion Geber and camped at Kadesh in the desert of Sin. They left Kadesh and camped at Mount Hora on the border of Edom. At the Lord's command, Aaron and the priest went up Mount Hor, where he died on the first day of the fifth month of the fortieth year after the Israelites came out of Egypt. Aaron was 101, was 123 years old when he died on Mount Hor. The Canaanite king of Aaron, who lived in the Negev of Canaan, heard the Israelites were coming. And they left Mount Hor and camped at Zelmona. And they left Zelmona and camped at Punon. They left Punon and camped at o Oboth. And they left Oboth and camped at Ai Abiram on the border of Moab. They left I Abiram and camped at Dibbin Gad. And they left Gibbon Dad and camped at Almon de Blatham. And they left Almon de Blatham and camped in the mountains of Abiram near Nebo. They left the mountains of Abiram 
and camped in the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. There on the plains of Moab, they camped along the Jordan from Beth Jashmoth to Abel Shittim. On the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from the Jericho, the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, When you cross the Jordan into Canaan, drive out all the inhabitants of the land because you, inhabitants of the land before you, destroy all their carved images and cast their idols and demolish all their high places, take possession of the land and settle in it, for I have given you the land to possess. Distribute the land by lot according to your clans. To a larger group, give a larger inheritance, and to a smaller group, a smaller one. Whatever falls to them by lot will be theirs. Distribute it according to the ancestral tribes. But if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land, those you allow to remain will become barbs in your eyes and thorns in your sides. They will give you trouble in the land where you live, and then I will do to you what I plan to do to them. So that's chapter 33, and you can see on that map just the course that they take. Now we talk about the boundaries as they conquer the land. Where are they going to stay? How big is their territory going to be in chapter 34? The Lord said to Moses, command the Israelites and say to them, when you enter Canaan, the land that will be allotted to you as an inheritance is to have these boundaries. Your southern side will include some of the desert of Zin along the border of Edom, your southern boundary will start in the east from the southern end of the Dead Sea, cross south of Scorpion Pass, continue on to Zin, and go south of Kadesh Barnea. Then it will go to Ashadar Adar and over to Asmon. Well, it will turn, join the Wadi of Egypt, and end at the Mediterranean Sea. Your western boundary will be the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. This will be your boundary on the west. For your northern boundary, run a line from the Mediterranean Sea to Mount Hor, and from Mount Hor to Libo Hamath. Then the boundary will go to Zadad, continue to Ziphron, and end at Hazar Hinan. This will be your boundary on the north. For your eastern boundary, run a, lo a line from Hazar Hinan to Shafam. The boundary will go from Shafam to Ribla on the east side of Aim and continue along the slopes east of the Sea of Galilee, then the boundary will go along the Jordan and end at the Dead Sea. This will be your land with its boundaries on every side. Moses commanded the Israelites to sign this land of I lot as an inheritance. The Lord has ordered that it be given to nine and a half tribes, because the families of the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh has received their inheritance. These two and half tribes have received their inheritance east of Jordan, across from Jericho, toward the sunrise. The Lord said to Moses, These are the names of the men who are assigned the land for you as an inheritance, Eleazar the priest and Joshua, son of Nun. And appoint one leader from each tribe to assign the land. And these are their names. Caleb, son of Jephunneh, from the tribe of Judah. Shumiel, son of Mehudad from the tribe of Simeon, Iladad, son of Kislon, from the tribe of Benjamin, Buki, son of Jogli, the leader from the tribe of Dan, Haniel, son of Ephod, the leader from the tribe of Manasseh, son of Joseph, Kimuel, son of Shif Shiptan, the leader in the tribe of Ephraim, son of Joseph, Elizaphan, son of Parnach, the leader from the tribe of Zebulun, Paltiel, son of Azan, the leader from the tribe of Issachar. Ahihud, son of Shalomi, the leader from the tribe of Asher. Pedihel, son of Amuhiad, the leader from the tribe of Naphtali. These are the men the Lord commanded to assign the inheritance to the Israelites in the land of Canaan. And so you see on this map, um, it goes from the Mediterranean Sea all the way down into the wilderness here, Mount Hor, all the way around up and then farther north. So God has given them a whole lot of, of territory 
for them to be able to um, to to live in. And here's what's here's what's amazing about all of this. And it, it it's that Moses, as he's writing this down, he's keeping a journal, and he's writing down every place they stay and everything that they do, so that today we can look and we can see the round, and we can see, you know what, Moses put down it exactly. Now some of the names have changed, and sometimes we get confused on some of the names, but we get the general idea of what Moses has done. That we see the the plan that God has put in place for the Israelites to leave. To, to live. And, and so for us today, it, it is a great opportunity for us to, to believe uh, what the Bible is talking about because it's all right there and we can, we can digest everything that's taken place. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that you have a great day.